Hey guys, I'm coming with some financial help tips if you have systemic lupus erythematosus and other diseases. Okay, first things first, we're going to start off with your web browser and you're going to type in healthwellfoundation.org and I'm waiting for this to load. Once it's up, it will show you a little bit about what the program's about and um, you know who they help. And this program is very helpful if you have insurance or no insurance. And I will tell you how to see if your disease qualifies and the steps that you would need to apply. So we're going to click patient and we're gonna let that load. Sorry, my phone is super slow. And now that's up and it tells you, hey, if you can't afford your medical treatment, I apply for this program because um, it was referred by the Benlista Gateway Group because they could not help me cover it. So it tells you if your disease is covered, it will come up with a list um, if you know of diseases to see if your disease qualifies. Helps you if you have Medicare, Medicaid. Um, currently, I think they do help if you don't have insurance only for prescription coverage, but I chose to do it because they help with out-of-pocket um, of what your insurance does not cover. So, it's just saying, you know, who they help, why they help, and what we're going to do is look at the open funds available, and it will show you a list of the diseases that they currently are funding. Um, they have a lot of different things, but for my loopies, we're going to choose if you have systemic lupus um erythematosus that is what we're going to be looking at um, I know a lot of people follow with other autoimmunes you can fill out this form if you do not see your disease on there and they can um, guide you to someone that may can help you so closed funds are in gray um, boxes so you can see what they used to fund but according to the rep, it can open up at any time. You just have to always check or, you know, give them a call to see if your disease has opened back up. So I was super blessed to be able to get approved for a very large amount um, that I'm using towards uh, my infusions. Um, because, you know, I'm stuck with a pretty substantial between $1,200 and $1,500 a month for my Benlista infusion because I cannot afford a secondary because I am under the age of 55. So we're just strolling down, seeing all of the lovely options that you know are available. Um, you do see pulmonary fibrosis because I know a couple of people that um, I've, you know, that follow me and I follow them is closed right now, but if they have lupus, they can still apply. So what we're going to do now um, I'm just scrolling. I was trying to find the grant and then I ended up typing grant in, but that actually did not work. So bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to show you some tools. Once you get approved, you have a patient portal where you log in, you can upload your claims, check the status of your applications, all of that. And literally, guys, when I did my upload of my claim, my first two claims, they had responded within 24 hours. So this, they are on it. And see, at the bottom, I'm going to type in grant or attempt to type in grant. <laughs> and um, it comes up some other stuff. But I eventually do find the section. And I'll walk you through how to apply for, as if you're applying for a grant. I'm going to only do the first couple steps um, just to, you know, get you guys familiar with um, about how to do it. It's so super easy. Um, you can do it. I did mine online and uploaded. it. Um, I'm sorry, I faxed in uh, my, I apologize. Once I did my grant, 
I sent submitted it to them. They sent me an approval letter within 24 hours. They tell you you're approved, and then they mail you some paperwork to say, hey, you need to mail in X, Y, Z. Um, so as I'm scrolling, I see the grant, I see medication list, and I was trying to show you what medications, but I had to go through a different step. So bear with me, guys. And I'm trying a new software um, app for editing, so that's why I can't figure out how to split and delete stuff right now so yeah until i figure it out so you got to watch me okay so we found the grant we're gonna click continue and you know put that i'm 18 or older um if you're filling it out for someone else you know you check that box click continue and see if you qualify so i'm scrolling down till i see uh systemic lupus click continue And then it will tell you a list of medications. So you check all the medications you currently take for your lupus treatment. So I'm going to check uh, Benlista as well as Cellset. And of course, if you're on other stuff, um, they do have the I, um, IV, I'm, IMG. I'm not probably not saying that right. They have everything that I guess anybody with lupus. So here's a disclaimer. They will just give you reimbursements up to $5 minimum for your prescriptions. Then it asks, do you have insurance to cover your therapy? So then you put, I clicked yes. And then at that point, you're able to get copay assistance, whether it's for your prescriptions or for hospital services, as long as it's lupus related. Um, and then I put that I already talked to the manufacturer and they can't help me. And then I clicked and then you just continue filling out. You know, it does not take it's like 10 minutes to fill out this whole application. So I'm scrolling back to show you what it um, would do if you did not have uh, insurance. And it will list a group of um, companies like you can only get. It's only for people with health insurance, so I should have said that in the beginning. But then they give you a list of places that can help you if you do not have health insurance. Um, so it's still pretty awesome. They give you resources even if they cannot help you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video and it is a very helpful program I'm very thankful that they told me about it 